Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are in the country Korea beta and we're gonna test out the 6 star version of Wong. So we have him as a 6 star rank 2 and 6 200. And man, he's so much fun to use. He's very simple to learn and he's quite effective at what he does. And he's very similar to Clairvoyant. And Clairvoyant is one of the best mystics in the game. So, Wong has three different spells. Kind of like Claire has three different curses. Exactly like that. And you can change your spells if you finish a combo with a light attack. So if you with your fourth light attack, you change your spell. Exactly how Claire changes the curse. So you activate that spell with your special one. So you can see now we're in the spell with the physical resist. And because we activated two special ones, we got two spells. And then with our sig ability, which I'm gonna explain after, we got our third one. So now that we have three of them, we have increased physical resistance and also we gain more eldritch energy while hitting him with basic attacks so the eldritch energy is the charge you can see it goes up from 75 80 and you consume those with your hero attack to get the massive power gain but with the eldritch energy you gain one per second and it goes up to five depending on how many spells you have active so now since i have four i am gaining five per second because it's one plus one for each spell because now because i have four it means i'm getting five which is the most i can get and because i have three of those physical resist spells i gain plus three when i'm hitting them with my basic attacks so it's much much easier to build up your eldritch energy if you have the physical resist spells active so that is why i recommend starting with this one because more eldritch energy means more power gain which means more spells and more sp2s with crazy numbers and here we, you can see we have th the other spell the blue spell which is like the thunder roll so that gives us energy damage you can see the red numbers massive red numbers right and yeah man his damage is very good i would say like he's got a healing as well which we're going to talk about in the last fight because we showcase in like the labyrinth of legend star with like 3.3 million health and we actually take him down with the rank 2 which is crazy but this is the rotation with like the special ones now the next rotation we're going to see is especially if you wouldn't have my way awakened so now you can see the prefix you can start with the green and the blue it doesn't sh show you the other one because it's the default but the default is honestly the better one because in every single fight like in, maybe using like an act seven or something they're gonna have more health so i would suggest to like build up your physical resist to build up more eldritch energy and also physical resistance because it, it's good for your block but here i'm gonna showcase what the sp3 does so if you don't have wonk awakened you should go for a special three because with a special three if you don't have any spells active you actually activate one of each spell so you'll see what happens after the special three and also if you do have a spell active your special three actually refreshes your spells the timer on your on your spells so yeah man, the special three it has pretty 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 much like all you need he also has bait seal i believe for like 12 seconds or something like that so yeah man, it, it can be really really good and also your spells are paused when you hold your heavy attack and when the opponent launches a special attack you can see now with her special attack it was paused during the animation and also it's paused during your special attack animation as well so even if they throw it it's good because it's getting paused because it's lasting for like i think 14 or 12 seconds but you can see it's getting paused like every single second now with this his special attacks my special attacks and also i think i'm gonna drop a heavy now or maybe maybe i go for a special one and then the heavy so yeah i dropped the special one and then i'm like if he throws a special quickly they're gonna get paused and then after this i'm gonna hold my heavy to pause them again into a special two which the special two refreshes all of your spells exactly how the special three does if you have spells active so now i'm showcasing the damage right here because we started with the energy damage right at the start and now the other phase that we haven't talked about is each time you deal energy damage you heal so that's like a life steal if you pay attention to my health look at this after the special two we got 79 look at my health we got some pretty good amount 
That was only 7%, but you're going to see the true heal after this fight. So that is like two rotations with Wong. You can, got like if you if you have suicides, maybe the SP3, like it's slower, but it's better because you have three spells active without losing any recoil. But honestly, man, this guy is so suicide friendly, which, yeah, man, makes him such a good character for suicides. Now we have the big fight, the 3.3 million health, health Star Lord. And here you're gonna see how powerful he is with nine spells active. Because your special two, you gain attack rating based on your spells. And if you have all nine, you're gonna see some massive numbers. And keep in mind, this is only a six star rank two, man. Only six star rank two. And actually we're using some, I think we're using some synergies as well. So I think, we have a synergy with, I don't know if it's with magic. Yeah, it's with magic. So our spells last 20% longer. And then also another synergy, which makes our, our Eldritch energy to cap at 125 instead of 100. Makes it a little bit faster. So you can see we went for the standard rotation. We activated two of the physical resist. The third one was from the pre-fight. And then we have one from the energy damage. You can see it's not quite high, but we'll have one. And yeah, I forgot to mention... It's pretty self-explanatory, but you can your spells cap at three. Okay, so we got three physical resist. Now we got two of the other one, and I'm gonna try and get the third one. And then we're gonna save the life still for last. So there's our third blue spell. Now the physical numbers you can see they're very very strong. Look at this, three thousand, and we're dealing like nine hundred without the crits. That's very very good, man. So I want you to throw that special. He didn't quite throw it. But, luckily there, I used my heavy to stall a little bit, push him to a special 2, luckily he threw it, and because they are getting paused constantly, I didn't lose them. So yeah, man, that power gain, it's so effective, like, there is no way you lose your, your spells. They are getting paused with special attacks, which is pretty annoying with champions that, like, need to ramp up. And it's just like a long animation, you just lose all your damage, but this guy just pauses them. You get the power gain to refresh with a special 2, it's actually amazing, man. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw another special one. We got all spells active, nine spells active. I'm gonna bait this special one into a heavy attack. Look at this massive power gain. And also, you are becoming unstoppable if you hold your heavy, and it, while you're unstoppable, your SP2 is unblockable. So if it doesn't work, it's unblockable, so you're, you're good. But pay attention to my health now. You, you heal not only from the special two, but from your basic attacks, because your basic attacks deal energy damage as well, because we have three of those spells. And look at my health, man. Like, we threw at least 8 special 1s and 2 special 2s, which means 50% health down from Requel to build up our spells and refresh them. And we're gonna finish this fight with 97% health, man. Like, the healing that this, this guy has in longer fights is amazing. Look at this power gain now. It's not special 2. And look at this damage, that's a 6 star rank 2. And we, we I mean, we have the prefect from Magneto, which is like 15%. But this this guy has insane damage, man. Let's see let's see another special two. Let's see how much it does. He's currently ha he has 65% health as weight. And you're always like capped on Eldritch energy while while you have nine of your spells, it's actually insane. So right there, almost lost him. But you see that power gain is like so quick. Okay, I didn't pay attention to that special two, and that was actually pretty sick. I think I'm gonna go for like another power gain as well right here. Yeah, okay. We'll get hit by since we are unstoppable. Now, let's see his health. Got evaded right there. So, he's got 50. Oh, he's get, getting... Wow. So, he's got 59. Let's see how much he drops. We didn't get any crits, and that dealt 3% damage on someone that has 3.3. Let's see now. From 56, he drops down to 52. And we have only one crit there. That is insane. This guy has 3.3 million health... Man, like 4% health from this guy is so much. For a 6 star rank 2, dude, I cannot wait to test him as a 6 star rank 2. It's actually insane. Look at my health. Instantly, 100%, man. And look at this SP2. Now that was some good crits. And yeah, man, like I would say, Claire and Wong are actually very, very close for which one is better. Claire has immunities, which is insane. She has three different immunities. She has the lifesteal, which Wong has. She has the energy damage, which Wong has. But Wong has better lifesteal and better energy damage. Because he does energy damage not only with his SP2, 
but he does it with his basic attacks and also he light fills from his basic attacks as well dude i don't know claire is like top two on my tier list as a mystic and dude i think like i think this guy i don't, I don't think he's gonna pass her but he's gonna be like right below after claire but i would say like claire is better for like quicker fights because Wong needs like a little bit of a ramp up it's not hard to ramp up it's very simple to do but he shines on those longer fights for sure because you get those spells look at this sp2 man every single hit does 12,000 energy damage so you don't even have to rely on your critical hits it's actually amazing this guy is so much fun i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm having so much fun watching it back <laughs> it's kind of crazy so he's on his first and rage timer and he's almost dead that's kind of crazy. Let's see how this SP2 again. From 70% health. Or 16. No crits there. One crit there. 13. And now, look at our power. One SP2 again. 13% health. He goes down to... 8. That's 5% health. That is so much, man. That is actually insane. That's like 200k SP2, I think. Or 150. With a rank 2. And you can throw so many so quickly because when you have your spells active you gain five each second and when you hit on the opponent you get plus three it's so easy and that's like the star lord that was like a six minute fight with a rank two wong and look at the sustainability 97 percent health with suicides dude i i literally want to get this wong so bad in the main server he is so much fun like literally i've never had so much fun after kitty pride Kirpa was like insane. She's like my favorite. But Wong is so effective. I didn't know he was going to have so much damage. But he does. So yeah guys. We're definitely going to do a 6 star rank 3 gameplay. For this guy. Because he's he's become one of my favorite champions. And I haven't even used him for more like 2 hours. But yeah guys. Hopefully you understood his abilities now. Let me know in the comments below. If you're hyped about Wong. I think he's definitely better than Rinchra. And Rinchra is not too bad. But yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.